Do you want to move the arm down a bit? Oh, yeah. Oh, hello, handsome. So, I have just been invited to a party. Do you want to come with me? Where is it? It's just at the uh, factory. I help with the refurb, so it's just a Christmas do. When? One o'clock. Oh, I'd love to go, but we're off into town. Well, do both. Come with me when you get back. Come. Yeah? All right, well, I'll give you a text in a bit then, yeah? Oh, give us a sec. Seb? We're a couple, aren't we? I hope so, yeah. Yeah, but what kind of couple? Like, are we friends with benefits? Are we going steady? Am I the one? Well, I mean, I hadn't really thought about it, but the second one, probably. Well, where do we stand with regards to Christmas presents? Like, what if you buy me something really expensive, like a Tiffany bracelet, and I get you socks? How am I going to look? You are the best Christmas present that I could wish for. <laughs> yeah, but are we getting each other something? Yeah. Good. You're cute when you're worried, you know. Am I? Mwah. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit, yeah? See ya. Hey, Something's gone. Excuse me. Um, do you know if Seb still lives here? Oh, you're that Romanian slave girl, aren't you? Yeah, my Romanian, yes. He's my name, slave girl. No, it's Alina. You went out with him, didn't you? <sighs> yeah, I thought I'd surprise him. Yeah, well, he's probably working. Oh. I saw him earlier chatting to his fiance. Emma. Fiance. Yeah. Good looking lads like him get snapped up quick and they're head over heels in love. I see. If you see him, tell him I said hello. Will do. Amy, I did it. Hmm? Took the plunge. After you went home, I went back to the shop and bought Seb a Bluetooth speaker. Oh, bet that cost a bomb. Oh, I don't care. It's only money. And I heard him tell Eileen he'd like one. Oh, I just hope he gets you something decent back. Oh, it's our first Christmas together. I want everything to be perfect. Yeah, it's just that I kind of saw the girl that you used to go out with earlier. You know, the Romanians, like, Alina. Oh, where was she? Knocking on Eileen's door. And what's she doing back? Well, she said that she was coming to surprise Seb. I wasn't going to tell you, but I felt really guilty. Why? What did you do? I kind of told her that he's engaged to you. Amy? You were the loveliest sister. <laughs> Man, I hope one day I'll look out for you in the same way. But I can't keep something like that from Seb. Sorry. When was this? Not long ago. If you're on, you might catch her. So, where uh, do you think we should take a bottle? Maybe we could get something from the shop. Yeah, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course. Do you ever think about Alina? Alina? Yeah, you know, the girl you used to go out with. What's brought this up? I don't know, just wondering if maybe you still had feelings for her. What, if someone who's hundreds of miles away in Romania? And she's not. She was here today. She was here? Well, I never actually saw her. Amy did. Well, apparently she was knocking on your door looking for you and... Amy told her that you were going out with me now, and so Alina went off. Went off where? I don't know. She didn't say anything. Who? Alina. I just can't believe that she wouldn't at least stop and say hello. Well, I've not actually been completely honest. I think maybe she was being a bit overprotective, but Amy told Alina we were engaged. No, I should have done something. I mean, maybe if I'd tried to find her, I've really messed up, haven't I? No, it's not your fault. But you still love her, don't you? I don't... I haven't thought about her in ages. I think you should dump me. I don't want to dump you. Well, then I'll dump myself. I mean, you deserve better than me. I'll go, I'm sorry. Hey, Mum. But you may, you may as well, may as well have this. Oh, I can't. It's, it's not rot, just take it. That's so thoughtful. Sorry. You talk to her? Me? Yeah.
Oh, whichever. You're the expert on being dumped. Oh, thanks a bunch. Well, it's true. Besides, you're a blood relative. Right, I'm going to go and check on Oliver. Shame Amy's not here. We'd have the full set of Steve's offspring. How are you feeling? Oh, actually, don't answer that question. I know exactly how you feel. I've been in your situation more times than I care to remember. Well, you've been dumped a lot. Well, not a lot. A few times. Or was it ever entirely your own fault? A few times. I am so used to relationships. You know, I fall for lads, but they never feel the same about me. Got your lovely present. <laughs> oh, you know, I don't even like Iron Maiden. I was just pretending, cos... cos I'd rather lie than have him not like me. How stupid is that? I shouldn't be allowed to have a boyfriend. As soon as a lad says something nice, I think I love him. <laughs> I just need to face the fact that I'm never going to have a proper relationship. I think I'm in that club and all. I never even got a T-shirt. You and Emma were happy. Well, we were. But it's Alina you're going to be dreaming about tonight. I don't know. It's not Emma's fault. I know. Just try not to think too hard about it and trust your instincts. Oh, hi. You all set? Is that your CV? Yeah, Mary, help me. It was only five lines long. Ah, well, quality rather than quantity. Yeah, but I've done it in a big font. Good work. Oh, um, <clears throat> shall I show Eileen over to the, um, to the other candidates? Yeah, yeah, sure. You second the final. Um, no. They will put a good word in for me. No need, you? you got this all sewn up. <laughs> See what I did there? Come through. Alina! Eileen! <laughs> what are you doing here? <laughs> <clears throat> so, Seb said that he'd seen you, but he didn't know if you were staying. There was no work at home. A friend got me a job in a bar here, and I saw this, and I thought, why not? <laughs> Is it safe for you? Well, all the people in that gang are in prison now. Yeah, thank goodness. Yeah. And I made sure that bar job was a real one. You gonna see Seb? No. I heard he was engaged, so. From Amy? Yeah. Yeah, I think she's got her wires crossed. You mean he's not with Emma? With Emma, yeah, but um, engaged. Hey guys, I'm sorry, we're running a bit late. So if you wanna just help yourselves to coffee. Oh, and just to warn you, so today I'm gonna be playing an angry customer, so it's gonna be your job to get me on side. How are your diplomatic skills? Mm. In Romanian, not so bad. In English? Mm. Mm. Oh, that makes us even, then. You ordered two weeks ago. Yeah, and we're getting on with it as fast as we can, madam. I'm afraid that's not good enough. Well, there's nothing else I could do, madam. Well, do you know that I've still not been reimbursed for the order with the moth holes? I remember that. Um, moth holes. Moths. Flying insects. Yeah, I know what moths are. Thanks very much. Oh, I'm sorry, am I irritating you? Well, it's the accounts department you need to speak to. Yes, but it's you that I'm talking to. I'll give him a nudge. It needs to be more I'm than... I'm going to nudge you. Wow, they said you had a temper. Who did? I've heard people use rival taxi firms to avoid talking to you. Is this for real or are you... Said you're famous for it. Stuff them. Anyway, it's production who deals with knickers. It's negligence. Oh, whatever. Just don't shoot the messenger. Right. 
Frank's violin. I think we'll, we'll leave it there. Made a pig's ear of that, didn't I? Do you really let your customers speak to you like that? That's nothing. Um, could you send Alina in for me, please? Do you honestly expect my customers to buy that rubbish? This is terrible. 500 pairs have ordered. Well, first of all, my apologies. Return them to us and we will get you a new delivery as soon as possible. Well, I don't know if I want them if they're going to be like that. They won't be, I assure you. And you will get a discount with your next order. Oh, okay. How much? That's something your finance team can talk about with our manager. But we value your business and we will do all we can to keep it. Have you done this kind of work before? No. One. Do you fancy a curry later? Mm -hmm. As long as it's with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you look smart. Oh. You've been interviewed at uh, Underworld Custom Services. Did you get it? I very much doubt it. Still, if I amused Sarah. <laughs> Alina? Yeah, I was going to tell you, a friend of yours is up for the same job as me. I, I um, I, I, I heard you were back a while ago. I didn't know if you were, if you were sticking around or what. I've been staying with a friend. Oh, Lena, um, so you come in. Oh, so, when do I start? Oh. Look, I'm going to have to give my notice at Street Cause, so I'm thinking maybe, what, a week after? Eileen, I'm sorry. Oh, give over. I'm joking with you. I know I've not got it. But you were very close. No, I was not. So come on. Has she got it? Well, I don't know if you still want the job. <laughs> I would love it. Sorry, Eileen. Well, just don't tell Tim and Steve that I applied for it. <laughs> so can you start tomorrow? That would be fantastic. Okay, <laughs> cool. I'll brief you properly then, so. <laughs> really happy for you. Seriously. Thank you. I hope you don't mind me doing this. No. no of course not. Congratulations. Thank you. This is my um this is my this is my girlfriend, Emma. Pleased to meet you. Likewise. Oh well, thank you. Hi, Alina. Hi. Hey. You uh ready for your first day? Yeah. Uh, a bit nervous though. Hey, you'll be great. Thank you. I just need to find somewhere to leave now. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we've got a um, a spare room in our in our flat. Uh, Liam's old room, yeah. Uh, it's fine. I'll be looking at a couple of places after. See ya. Okay. Am I being mean? Well, a bit. I mean, she's only trying to build a new life for herself. What with all she's been through. Oh no. And it's not like you still have any feelings for her, do you? No, of course not. Well, maybe we should offer her the room then. Well, I'd be cool with that. As long as you're not going to feel awkward living with your new girlfriend and your old one. Well, look, I would rather that than her live somewhere dodgy, so... What do you reckon? Semi or skimmed? Oh, I bet Alina's more oaty or soy. What? Milk. I'm making a welcome hamper for her like I did for you. I think she'll just be glad of a bed. Well, I like making hampers. When I left home, my dad did one for me. And to be fair, it was mostly first aid, vitamins, and a fire extinguisher, and anti-malaria tablets. Where did you move to? Levin's Hume. Look, he was a bit of a worrier. Oh, she's here. Shall I, um, shall I go and let her know? Maybe it's best coming from me. Right, I'll get the round in. I get staff discount. I think I'll have a V and T channel Rita. Alina, Alina, quit with the side eye. Side eye. Side eye. Hi. 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 Um, Seb and me have had a chat, and I've texted Bethany and all, and Audrey. Oh, no notice in the Gazette. <laughs> About the flat, I mean, and we're all happy for you to move in with us oh, into the box room. Oh, it's 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 very kind. If you're sure it's not, no, no, it's not anything. It's all good. Tonight, if you want. Oh, customer. <laughs> well, she seemed quite relaxed about it. Thanks, babe. You're a braver man than I. 
No, Bethany. No. Oh, time that well. Getting the drinks in some. Oh, don't take his hard-earned wages off him. <laughs> He's got a harem to maintain. What? Moving Alina into one room and Emma in the other. It's apparently the modern way. You are. I'm just cool with it. Well, I'm not. I taught you to respect women. What, what are you going to do? Alternate? Three nights each and then a night off for a bath? No. Look, listen to me, Mr Casanova. I'm not going to sit by and let you. Oh, skimmed, semi, OT or soy. Sorry? Milk. You'll need a cup if you're hiking all your stuff in tonight. Oh, um, any. Thank you. I'm not... I'm not seeing them. I mean, both of them, yeah? I'm seeing Emma. Alina's been sofa surfing. It'll be fine. What could possibly go wrong? Ah. Mm. Alia. Hi. Hi. You okay? Um, not so bad. You? Yeah. Just waiting for Gemma and her quads. Yeah. We're off to her baby senses class. I'm giving her a hand. Any plans for tonight? Oh, I thought we might have a quiet night in. Maybe have a takeaway. Oh, sounds nice. Unless you wanted the place to yourself. No, no, no. Yeah, we can go out if you like. Uh, it's fine, honestly. Some of the girls at work are going for a drink. I'll join them. Sure. Positive. <laughs> Here's Gemma. Oh, well, enjoy your glass. Thanks. Hi. Hi. Hey. Okay. All set. Yeah. Oh, I don't know what this is going to be like. It can only be good. How do you know? Well, mothers and babies all together mucking in. Yeah, mum's with one baby each. They're gonna look at me like I'm in some kind of freak show. Oh, no, they won't. They'll think you're really interesting. No, they'll come and have a good gawp and a snigger. Where, where are you getting this idea from? It's gonna be a disaster. Look, we're here now, right? And they're all dressed in the Sunday best, so why don't we just head in, give it a go, and, and, listen, if it's really that bad, we can always leave. <sighs> come on, then. <laughs> Right, so, seeing as we've saved a small fortune on lunch, how about, right, night in, takeaway, I'll even throw in a bottle of wine. Oh! <laughs> not tonight, though, babes. Oh, yeah, why not? Well, I've invited the girls round. You'll have to go out. What girls? Nosey, Maria, Tracy, Amy and Abby. OK, so you're choosing to have a night in with my mum over a night in with me? I want to see my mates. All right, suit yourself. Hey, I'm not one of those sad Klingons who build a life around the bloke. Mm. So I've got to go to the pub, basically. Yeah. Do you think you'll be able to manage that? I know it's a big ask, sinking a load of pints. Yeah, sometimes a man's just got to step up to the plate. <laughs> Hi, hero. <laughs> Can't believe you're blowing me out, though. Hey, up. Mm. One beer, one beer, Matt. Methinks San Sebastian's flying solo tonight. Well, you're all the smarts, you, aren't you? Yeah, well, um, Emma's just having a girls' night, so... Right, you two grab a booth and I'll get around it. Uh, maybe Seb's fine where he is. Seb's fine where he is? On his lonesome, are you mad? <laughs> oh, there's an agenda on the tea break. Vis-a-vis <laughs> -vis things to discuss. I saw that eye roll, Grimshaw. Item one, Oprah Winfrey on how to change your IE one's life. Oh. Item two, Krishna and Guru Murthy. My crush is in overdrive. <laughs> we know that. Mm. I dreamt last night you had to take out a restraining order. Lovely. <laughs> oh, I love Rylan. Rylan? <laughs> I think we're both barking up the wrong trees there, dear. <laughs> Seb, get the booth before it goes. You don't have to if you don't want to. No, that's fine. In the Grimshaw fold, it must feel like a uh, reunion. <laughs> I prefer to call it a support group. Uh, how do you fancy sleeping on the streets tonight? We should probably get a better kid. That's true, she snores like a freight train, doesn't she? <laughs> it's like something out of a cartoon, the blankets raise up and everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's not a story. Uh, I share my home with these people and this is how they repay me. Oh, no, I think it's nice that you're taking waves and strays. <laughs> waves and strays? I have never been so insulted. Well, I'll stick around because we're just getting started. Mm. Right, I'll get another round in. Hey, it's raining. Oh, not tonight, it's not working. Sorry, babes. You all right, love? Oh, not really, no. I've just had to sneak out my grand's house so Jeff didn't see me. That's what my life's come to, hiding from my grand's stupid husband. Jeff wouldn't let you see her? 
There's all sorts going on. None of it good. Oh, retiring to Cyprus, what an adventure. How lucky is Yasmin to have a man like Jeff? <laughs> she can't believe her luck. Oh, I've got to get up in the morning. <laughs> well, you've changed. You haven't. <laughs> Not up. Oh, you've remembered. How did it go again? <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. It's fine. Um, I'm gonna get off. We probably shouldn't go back together. No, we don't want people getting the wrong idea, do we? All right. What kind of twisted mind would make a film where a dog dies four times? I know it's heartbreaking, isn't it? I've been wanting to ask you all night. Does Seb ever talk about me? What does he say? I don't know. Stuff. And you know this trip to Australia. He must really like me, mustn't he? You'll have to ask him, kidder. I really like him. I mean, you could be my stepmom. Oh no, it's not stepmom, it's mother in law, isn't it? I'm always getting them mixed up. Trace is my evil and wicked stepmom. <laughs> I'm only joking. I'm not joking. And I'll have to get off now. Yeah, me too. Well, truth or daring? I feel like we've learned a lot about each other. Yeah, let's stick to Monopoly though next time, eh? Group hug? Uh, I think we've been through enough. Oh, come on. Come on Yay. <laughs> oh, we'll see you later. Hello. 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 All right. Hello. Hello. All right. Hello. All right. <laughs> what a good time, wasn't it? Nice, nice. Well, I'd sooner be home with you. I really missed you, you know. Yeah, I missed you too. <laughs> Well, Roy was in a pickle, so here I am. And Tracy doesn't mind? Well, let's just say understanding and cooperation aren't two of Tracy's obvious qualities. Whereas bribery, she wanted you to pay her. Full English, two frothy coffees, and a Belgian bun. <laughs> <laughs> you looked like you were having a good time last night in the Rovers. Yes, it was good. <laughs> Please don't think I'm trying to pry. Pry? Be nosy. But it, it must be hard for you, living with Seb and Emma, now that they're together, as a couple. I'm pleased for them. Me and Seb were just friends. Forgive me, it didn't look like that last night. I'm only mentioning it because I'm fearful that one or other of you are going to get hurt. And believe me, I have known love and I have known heartbreak. But that won't happen. All I'm saying is... Please tread carefully where Seb is concerned. Emma. Sorry, I, I forgot. Emma, of course he's not going to dump you. Why? What's he said? Nothing. I heard Mary talking to Alina about her and Seb, saying how she needs to tread carefully. Oh, well, it won't be the first time Mary's got the wrong end of the stick. There was other stuff and all. Nah, Emma. I've got nothing to worry about. Seb's totally into you. <sighs> Is he though? Yeah. What do you make him do? Oh, problems with the young man. <sighs> That's just it. I don't even know if he is. Like, mine, I mean. Listen, you're gorgeous. And you're funny. You're in kind. I think that's Seb's lucky to have you. Yeah, she's right. I just really, really like him. I don't want to lose him. Right, I best get going. I've got a client due now down the road. You've got a meeting with Claudia as well, oh, haven't you? Oh, yes. Oh, well, I just popped in to see if I could book for first thing tomorrow. At uh, 10 o'clock? Yeah, 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 that's great, yeah. Uh, maybe I'll see you for a drink later? Uh, yeah. Mm. Relationships are complicated. Well, you know, if you really want him, then you need to fight for him. See you later. See ya. All right? Oh, hello. I just wanted to... You know, this morning in the cafe when you and Mary were talking... Oh, sorry. Mary doesn't know what she's talking about. 
I promise there's nothing going on between me and Seb. And I believe you. But the point is whether you want there to be something going on, I mean. Why would you say that? Because if you do, I think I've got a right to know. And if it turns out he feels the same, then I'd sooner just walk away. Hey, Ma. Look, it's okay. I don't need an answer now. You should think about it. About what it is you want. Should you two be chatting? Oh, sorry, I'm just going. See ya. milk when I came back here I thought that maybe me and Seb I hoped that we could get back together right but he found someone else and so what if he hadn't who knows it doesn't matter the point is he wasn't free he was with you you can't just turn your feelings off like that, though. Oh, please, Emma. Believe me when I'm saying I have no interest in Seb. None. You're my friend. You've been kinder to me than pretty much anyone else I've ever met. Why would I do something I know would hurt you? I need to go now. See you later. Well, according to Claudia, I needed to be dragged into the 21st century. Drag being the appropriate word. Anyway, time she'd finished with me, I looked like an extra on Charlie's Angels. Luckily, I've been able to just, you know, tone it down so I'm No, well, I think you look lovely. Well, I think your hair is very nice. Mm. Look, are you sure you don't want a bit of company just till I get here? No, I d it, if a woman can't sit in a bar and have a quiet drink on her own without people gawping at her like she's in a goldfish bowl, go on, move. Mm -hmm. Evening. Evening. Two pints, please. On the house. And I'd, I'd just like to apologise. Oh, there's no need. Yeah, there is. I think I was just in shock, which is why I totally overreacted about the... Well, thank you. Right, well, I'll get the drinks. <laughs> So, is this, is this new, or what? A one-off. We think Evelyn's got a date. Yes. I think it's lovely. And that's because you're a romantic. Go, guilty. <laughs> Hiya. What are you having? You and your friends, it's fine. Oh, okay. Hi. All right, can I, um, can I get you a drink? No, thanks. Um, have a pint of pizza, please. Hmm? I'll be over there if that's okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring it over. You know I'm falling out, have you? No. <laughs> does, does she seem weird or...? No, she just wants to be on her own, I guess. Coffee to take away, please. No, Papa, I'm a senorita. Oh, gracias, senor. But you know I'm from Romania, right, Alex? Oh, yes. But I can't speak that yet, all in Spanish. <laughs> ah, David, it's me again. Can you call me? I'm worried. I don't know David very well, but I'm pretty sure he can take care of himself. You're right, Alina. You don't know David very well. Someone's been burning a candle at both ends. I wish. You'd think I'd be used to the early starts by now. I feel like I've been hit by a bus. <laughs> I've always been a strict early riser myself. That way I give myself plenty of time to make myself presentable to the world. All right, what went wrong this morning then? Razor on the blink. Oh, because you not face the mirror. Oh, this. Uh, I've decided to try a new look. <laughs> Obviously it's only at its earliest trial stage. Ah, suits you. Covers your face up. 
Hey, you're keen. Sorry? Getting into work so early. Putting the rest of us to shame. I'd prefer it like that. Quiet. Nothing to do with them two lovebirds. Look, it can't be easy sharing a space with Seb. Especially if you've still got, you know, feelings. I don't know what you mean. Of course you don't. Even if I do still have feelings. Uh, he's with Emma now. I need to get to work. Oh, listen, um, if Sarah asks you to I'm getting an energy drink. I think she's all right. What, Alina? Yeah, she's hardly said a word all morning. No, she probably just wants to give us some space. You know, not cramp our style. Right, anyway, I've got to go, yeah? Mm. See you later. Yeah. You're skiving off as well? Don't mind if I join you, do you? Thought I'd go for the old liquid lunch. You're a barrel of laughs, aren't you? No one forced you to sit here. Well, that's me told. So come on then. What are you such a misery guts for? Are you always this noisy? <laughs> uh, yeah, you probably don't know. Usually when you sit on a bench and someone comes and sit next to you, they open up a tin of beer, usually start talking, sort of tradition around here. Really? Mm. Well, you're the only one I see drinking. Oh. That's easily sorted. No thanks. Well, I've opened it now, so you kind of got it. Come on, just one. Or are you really that boring? We normally do this in the afternoon. What, throw stones at cans? Drink on a bench. You mean I'm some sad wino with no friends? No, I'm not, but give it time. So then why are you here? Mm. I'm the one who asks the nosy questions, remember? <laughs> You're rubbish. Right, will you have a go then? You're so good. Come on. Yeah, right. Well, 20 quid says you can't do that again. I don't want to humiliate you anymore. <laughs> Trust me, you won't be able to humiliate me any more than what people already have done. But actually, getting back to it, you never told me what you're so miserable about. Hang on, let me guess. Is it relationship? Because if it is, trust me, you're well out of it. It's not just that. I keep thinking maybe it was a mistake I came back. Well, yeah, definitely was. Place is alright, dumb. Do you always do this? Make a joke of everything? I bet he's chucking myself in the canal, doesn't it? Anyway, why did you come back? And after all that trouble in the nail bar, I thought this would be the last place you'd want to be. You know about that? Everyone knows about that. Yeah, well, I decided if I ran away, then those people would have won. I will always leave being frightened. Hmm? What? What? You surprised? I wasn't always just a victim. No, I, no, I, I believe you. That's what I mean. Huh. Listen, why, why don't we sack all this off? Stop acting like a couple of saddos and I don't know, go and have some fun. I can't. If I don't get back to work, I'll be in trouble. So a minute ago, you were saying you don't live in fear, and now you're acting like some scaredy cat. And that was different. I don't want to lose my job. I can help out with that. Hang on, sir. What? Hey, what you doing? So, hang, hang on, hang on. My brother, right, is Nick. He's your boss. I'm just going to text him and say you're ill, you're sick, yeah. and you need the afternoon off. Well, you can't do that. Well, I've already sent it now, so... <sighs> you're bad, you know that? <laughs> yeah, you don't know the alphabet. 
But um, now we've got some time to kill. What should we do? Hmm. Why did you head in mind? Well, you tell me. Oh, Dalton. Are you okay? Sorry, I just can't stop thinking about Alina. Oh, yeah? So what you need to tell me? I'm serious. I thought we spoke about this this morning. Yeah, I know, but I didn't tell you everything, did I? Right, so... Well, so I got a bit insecure about you and Alina still having feelings. What? Well, I know it's stupid, but I heard Mary saying the same thing, and so I sort of went round to see her, didn't I? What, Alina? I just wanted to clear the air and find out once and for all if it was in my head. I don't believe this. So what did she say? Well, she said it was all in my head. But the thing is, I'm worried she's avoiding me now. She's hardly got any friends around here as it is, and now she'll have even fewer. So you can't talk to her, can you? What, me? Well, she won't talk to me. I just make sure she's okay. Right, so if I do this, then you'll forget about the whole thing? I promise. Okay, yeah, fine. Thank you. Alright, well, see you later. Can I help you? Or do you just like looking through women's underwear? Uh, no, I was um, I was after Alina. Does Emma know? Yeah, she's the one who sent me. Really? Well, at me, you've missed her. Apparently she just texted Nick saying that she's not feeling very well. Oh, has she gone home? Out of that, oh, she's skiving to go shopping, which she better not be. Dumping me with all this work. Right, OK. Well, I'd better go make sure she's all right. That's very devoted of you. I thought you and her were over. Yeah, we are. We're just mates. Ah, that old chestnut. Mm. Give her a big kiss from me. Lena? I, uh, I spoke to Sean. He, um, he said you were ill. Yeah. Yeah, I am. What do you think you're doing? Do you want me to draw you a diagram? I came to check on you. I thought you were ill. She made a speedy recovery, didn't she? Please, just go, will you? I'm not leaving you here with him. I don't need you to look after me. I know what I'm doing. I said you know that he's married with kids, so did he not mention that? So it's true, you've got a wife? And kids. Are you still here? Yes, all right, I've got kids. And technically, I've got a wife, but I don't live with her. Well, yeah, only because she's in hospital. You know, you're starting to do my head in now. What's wrong with her? Well, you heard about that shooting at Christmas. Oh, here we go. I heard that someone died, yes. Yeah, well, that was Robert who owned the bistro. Well, his wife got shot too and went into a coma. I don't believe this. Look, he's making it sound worse. Than How could it possibly right? be worse? I want you to leave, both of you. What have I done? Just get out, will you? Now. How did it go? Did you see Alina? Yeah. Yeah, all good. You sure? I just said so, didn't I? So, can I get a pint? I thought you weren't going to turn up. Oh, what, give you a test of your own medicine? <laughs> that would have been a bit petty, wouldn't it? Man, it did occur to me. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're here. Oh. And you look very nice. But then you always were a lovely dresser. Oh, this? No, it's just something I threw on. <laughs> Still, uh... Yeah. Yes, uh... All right, love, uh, two beers and uh, a couple of whiskey chasers, please. What's the hurry? Well, you said we'd have a drink, so we'll have one. Oh. All right? Look, before you kick off, all right, he's my brother. I'm not going to snog him. <laughs> What's he on about? This kid here earlier saw me and Alina having a bit of fun and didn't oh. quite like it. Uh, Alina, what are you thinking? You're married. 
she's ill. He was taking advantage of her. She didn't even know he was mine. Oh, look, don't give me that like you were protecting her, all right? You're just jealous, that's all. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Lads, lads, keep it civil, all right? Cheers. What's going on between them two? I don't know, but keep an eye on it. Why don't we just all calm down, OK? I am calm. Simon's got his knickers in his twist because his bird's moved on. But what's he talking about? I don't know. We better shut his mouth. Look, just face it, Sebastian. She's not in here, all right? <laughs> Hey, oh, hey, 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 hey. Stop it! Well, is that the best you can do? Your mum's here now, you're in trouble. Look, just give it a rest. Any more of that and you're bad. The pair of you. Mm, that got nasty very quickly. Oh, compared to some of the stuff that happens in here, that was handbags at dawn. Listen, love, I know none of that was your fault. I think you need to have a word with your boyfriend. Don't worry. I'm going to. Oh, yeah. You got a minute? No. Oh, look, ju just let me explain. Please, please. Look, technically, we are still married, OK? But since the accident, Shona, she, she doesn't want to see me. And what's more, she wants a divorce. Oh, so that's your excuse, is it? For deceiving me and then getting into a fight with Seb? How do you know about that? It doesn't matter. Look, I'm sorry for what happened, but all this is not my problem, and I don't need it. Oh, that's a bit harsh. So is life. Hey, I um, thought I'd make us something to eat tonight. What do you fancy? At nothing. I'm not hungry. Well, come on, you got to eat something. I'll uh, make you whatever you want. What I want is to know what that was really about with David. Well, he was just trying to wind me up. Well, he succeeded, didn't he? Well, he got on my nerves and I lost my temper. And it's got nothing to do with the fact that you saw him with Alina? Well, not in the way that you're thinking, no. So why did he say you were jealous? Because he's a liar. And you're not? Well, what's that supposed to mean? <sighs> Ever since we got together, you've been telling me that you don't have feelings for her and you want to be with me. I do. Well, I keep trying to believe you, but I can't. Because as soon as you see her with someone else, you're getting into fights in pubs. And don't tell me that you were just looking out for her, because I don't think you'd react like that for a mate or for me. Listen, you've got this all wrong. Look, I know how this must... Oh, look... don't. I don't want you to touch me. I don't even want to be around you. But I think you should stay somewhere else tonight. Well, I've got no money, so where am I supposed to go? Your mum's. Or mates or Eileen's, I don't care. I just don't want to see you for a while. And there's me up, and it's the Jehovah's. Sorry to disappoint. It's all right. Do you want a beer? No. Where's everyone else? Um, Max is staying at a mate's. Lily's Sparko and uh, Gail's gone out. Where? I don't know. A little full moon tonight. Uh, no. And you're half cut. <laughs> I see what you did there. I'm worried about you. Don't be. What was all that about before? On what? This thing with Lena, going 17, yeah. What are you thinking? I'm just trying to liven things up. <laughs> I'm being serious. So am I. I've got a wife who doesn't know who I am. You have any idea what that's like? No. Well, it's like I've suddenly just become invisible. It's like I don't exist anymore. So, I don't know, maybe I did what I did just to feel something, really. I feel like I was actually here. Whether that's a kiss or a smack in the mouth, doesn't matter because it'd be real. I know you've had it hard. But you can't give up on your marriage. I hope Shona gets better. Once if she recovers her memory and wants to see you, what are you going to say? I've been getting into fights. I've been sleeping around while you've been in rehab. She's not going to get better. She might. When? 
After a month, after a year, 20 years, I can't waste my life waiting, Nick, for something that might never happen, you know? It's fine. Sorry. It's fine. Give us some time. Get some sleep. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll see you.